Jason. And lawmakers are calling for a hearing on Capitol Hill, a crucial step forward in investigating a shameful systemic abuse of athletes. Olympic gymnast Jordan Weber was among those who testified before a Senate committee just one day after filing a lawsuit over Larry Nassar's abuse. She talked about the need to punish not only those who prey on athletes, but also the people and organizations who knew about it and did nothing. No one should ever have to endure physical, emotional, or sexual abuse for the privilege of representing our country as athletes. When you have the, the organizing, you know, USA Gymnastics, the organizing governing body that's the, the leadership, and that's how they decided to leave, that's going to trickle down mm -hmm. and be a failed system completely. Larry Nassar is now in prison and will spend the rest of his life there. Eyewitness News reached out to indie-based USA Gymnastics for a response. We got back a statement that says, in part, USA Gymnastics is committed to doing everything it can to prevent abuse from happening again by making bold decisions and holding ourselves to the highest standards of care. Also adding that they have already taken steps to address some of those concerns. And another survivor of Nassar's abuse is speaking out about what she says she endured in an exclusive interview with NBC News. Olympic gymnast Michaela Maroney says the former team doctor molested her hundreds of times over a five-year period. He said that nobody would understand this and the sacrifice that it takes to get to the Olympics, so you can't tell people this. And he, he didn't say it in in a way that was like mean or anything like that. I actually was like, that makes sense. I don't want to tell anybody about this. Like, and I didn't believe that they would understand. The full interview will air this weekend during a special edition of Dateline called Silent No More. The episode will also feature sit-downs with former national team coordinators Bella and Marta Caroli. This will be their first time talking about the sex abuse scandal. Again, you can see that here on Channel 13 Sunday night at 7 o'clock.